Good morning and welcome to Thursday, September the 10th. This is Pastor Jim Krieger from Holy Cross Lutheran Church and School in Saginaw, Michigan, celebrating God's holy word with you today in our daily devotion. The word of God we celebrate today are the words of 2 Timothy 3, verse 16. All scripture is breathed out by God and profitable for teaching, for reproof, for correction, and for training in righteousness. As we thumb through the pages of Holy Scripture, which have become so familiar to us throughout our Christian life, it is a challenging and it is an awesome thing to consider who it is that lies in those inspired pages and the eternal significance of the content of Holy Scripture. It is the written Word of God not just some random collection of books, not something simply penned in antiquity, but Holy Scripture is God's divine word, divinely inspired, inerrant, and the only authority God has provided for his people on earth. The completed scripture, 66 individual books, is a powerful, living, active, unified whole. God's Holy Spirit breathed out, meaning God's Holy Spirit inspired all of the words that are recorded in the pages of the Bible. Words that give life, words filled with power, words that convey hope. The Holy Spirit of God, who in times past moved the prophets of old, to record the sacred words in Scripture is the very breath of God who breathes life into the spirit of each sinner today that is born again from above through water and the Word. It is the Holy Spirit of God that shines in our mind the truth of His Holy Word. And it is our heart inspired by God's Spirit that leads to spiritual understanding our heart and mind that are able to discern what is godly. It's no surprise that the Word of God is profitable for teaching, for reproof, for correction, and for training in righteousness because the entire Bible is God's holy inspired Word. The Bible unveils our Heavenly Father's character and reveals His divine plan for sinful mankind. The Holy Bible absolutely convicts us of our need for a Savior and teaches us about the eternal plan of our Creator. The Holy Bible reveals to us what God expects of all who follow Him. And the Bible is our guide along our road of living in righteousness. The Holy Bible trains us in the path of patient endurance, as it provides us with clear examples of faithful lives that are lived in humble obedience to the will of our Heavenly Father. All scripture is breathed out by God and profitable for teaching, reproof, for correction, and for training in righteousness. The Word of God amends our skewed human perception It highlights prideful attitudes and exposes so many false presumptions. The Word of God alerts us to the very dangers of our sin and warns us of the temporal and eternal consequences of our sinful nature. The Holy Word of God presents the reality of our original sin but reassures us that through saving faith in Jesus we have all we need through the forgiveness of our sins, for a life now, the life to come, and the privilege to live here in all godliness and holiness. But God's word also warns that our same Father who redeems sinners through faith in Jesus is at the same time a righteous judge of justice. He judges the wicked. He condemns the unrighteous. And let us never forget that God wants all people to be saved, but that salvation comes through faith in Christ Jesus alone. 
St. Paul warns us that in the last days, men will be lovers of self, lovers of money, boastful, arrogant, disobedient to parents. They will be ungrateful, unholy, unloving, irreconcilable, malicious gossips, without self-control, brutal, haters of good, treacherous, reckless, conceited, lovers of pleasure rather than lovers of God. They will hold to a form of godliness while denying its power. St. Paul warns that evildoers, imposters, which are false prophets and teachers, they will continue proceeding from bad to worse throughout time as the day of Jesus draws closer. They will deceive others, and they will then deceive themselves in every area of life. The darkest of nights always breaks into the brightest of dawns. Nights of sorrow inevitably burst into mornings of joy. The problems and pain we face in this fallen world are not worthy to be compared with the glories that are to come. And St. Paul reminds Timothy that in the midst of all the evil of this sinful world, we have all we need for our life of godliness because through word and sacrament, we are in Christ. We have the inspired word of God, the very words of God, words that teach us all we need to know. So God's word is there to correct us when we fail, to train us in righteousness and reassure us that God is absolutely in control. This word of truth protects us from the errors of sin, warns us of false teachers, <coughs> excuse me, and their false teachings. It's the very word of life that equips us with godly wisdom and gracious counsel. And that same word of God helps to build our trust in our Father and our Savior Jesus. Let us never forget let us never fail to celebrate. All scripture is God-breathed. From start to finish, Gen Genesis to Revelation, it is profitable, beneficial, enriching, and illuminating for all sinners. It teaches the truth, opens the door of salvation, warns of danger, comforts in sorrow. It reproves us when we go astray, corrects us when we miss the mark, trains us to do what is right and holy and pleasing so that we live in the righteousness Christ has earned for us. So let us, in accordance with one of St. Paul's final teachings to Timothy, you have followed my teaching, my conduct, my aim in life, my faith, my patience, my love, my steadfastness, my persecutions and sufferings. Continue in what you have learned and firmly believed, knowing from whom you learned it. Let us, each of us, all of us, continue in the things we learn in the Bible. And as we do, let it deepen our commitment and our relationship with our Father and our Savior. By the powerful Holy Spirit, who first inspired all of these words to be written, words that we know, words we believe, that lead to everlasting life. Let us pray. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for the Spirit-breathed words of Holy Scripture. Through the ongoing work of the Spirit, continue to teach me, convict me, correct me, and train me through the living, powerful, inspired words recorded in the Bible that I may be thoroughly equipped to carry out the work and accomplish my role in the mission you have created, equipped, and sent me to do, to teach others what is revealed in the Bible, and to proclaim the gospel truths about Jesus everywhere I go. Keep me mindful of the dark days that face the church in these times, and continue until the return of Jesus, that all of my life, through my words and actions, may declare your praise and glory and point the lost to Jesus and his words of life, in whose name I now lift up to your heavenly throne the prayer Jesus taught me. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. 
Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you with favor, and in the precious, saving name of Jesus, give you peace. Amen.